Hey guys, finally he sleeps here. We're back again with another FC Mobile video. Today we're gonna take a look at Hall of Legends and discuss the event guide that is necessary for this. Uh, it is a five week long event. It does have a star pass. So the star pass for Euros will be resetting and we will be getting the new star pass for Hall of Legends. Uh, what you're gonna do with this is you're gonna log in each day. There are two skill games and a match that are all good for legend points. There are a few daily quests on the main tab that go along with this. Like we have uh, watch a match or win a match, acquire a free pack. Um, and these are all good for legend points. There are also a couple of weekly quests on the main tab uh, with milestones. These are on a one week refresh uh, for the weekly quests. And then there are milestone Requ uh, quests here as well. These are on a two week refresh. Once we move over to the icon collections tab, uh, this is where things get a little different, a little bit interesting. There are two daily ads to watch. Uh, then we claim our rewards using our legend points. So um, these rewards, they don't take very many and we're gonna refresh them a lot. So as you go through here and collect these, the final node will give you a player token. Uh, you'll claim that player token and then it fits into your icon team. Now we're not talking about like the team you use for FC Mobile. There is an actual set of pillars that have positions as we can see here. And you'll collect these icon player tokens they will go into your team. As you can see, we've got a few of them here already, uh, like 100 best right wing. Um, and these players will go into these positions and increase your OVR. Uh, the OVR is what you have for your full team. So like right now, you can see the Hall of Legends team OVR is at 35. Now, as you add more icons to this, that number from 35 will continue to go up and we use that number that ovr to hit milestones here on the icon collections tab uh, once we hit like 85 98 and we keep moving up on those now you can shuffle those uh player tokens each day and you can also shuffle the rewards for the full milestone as well uh, these will take legend points to do it I mean, you can always just go for the universal rank player right now. It's not showing you what these things are because you haven't reached that level yet. But once you unlock these three uh, icons here, uh, they will be available to collect. Now, here is what is up. This is the rewards preview 96 to 98 for these. So all of those icons that they're showing that are up to the 100, 101, those are not part of the icon collection as claimable through your point milestones. When you come into the last tab, the icon gallery, there are two teams available, team A and team B. Uh, team A is available at uh, the event release. Team B will unlock uh, of, within the event. Uh, now, when you collect those players that are higher OVR, they will come in here into this tab as well. And as you collect enough of these players, in this reel, you'll earn milestones, which are pack offers. And then once you get fully out, there is a throwback kit available. So what we're doing here is trying to collect as many of these player tokens as possible. Now, these aren't the players you're claiming. These are just the tokens from the icon collection. Now there are full event quests uh, in the quest tab. These are not to be confused with the daily and the weekly and the bi-weekly quests that are in the event itself. These are the 35 day quests that you use throughout all of it. When you go into the store under the exchanges, you can convert universal tokens to legend points at a two to one ratio. There is a 300 weekly limit um, to, to claiming those. So there's finally a use for the legend points. It's 300 total, uh, and it's two to one. There is also, uh, exchanges for Euro points with a limit of 150 on a one to one. And then there's also 150 limit for one to one. If you're going to do the pass points, uh, for those conversions as well. 
Let's take a look at the star pass. It's basically your generic star pass like we have with everything else. Uh, the top player here is a 98 uh, Kaka at center attacking mid. There is no event currency in this thing as, uh, as far as like legendary points or, or legend of points or tokens or anything. Uh, it's just uh, basically like every other star pass. So there's, I mean, if you buy the star pass specifically for the universal rank players or whatever, I can see some people getting it. Otherwise, these passes really haven't been worth the money that you put into them. Last thing to look at is the exchanges. We have the universal rank players exchange as normal. You can do that twice a week. There's a daily bonus. We're assuming that's just going to take some 70s. Uh, we have an untradeable exchange with a limit of five that uh, I'm assuming these are weekly exchanges. The uh, untradeable and then there is a 94 to 101 limited exchange one time we don't know what the requirements are we won't know that until the event actually opens but uh, that is pretty much it uh, it's it's a your basic event five weeks long uh, it's gonna be good for some icons but they have kind of leaked some other stuff in there as well there are more players that are coming to the game not just the icon shown uh, so there should be some exchanges around the corner plus the next event should be rolling in right on top of this which is part of it so that's it i'm finally he sleeps thanks a lot for hanging out make sure you subscribe here on the fc mobile channel that way you never miss when a video goes live for event guides and we also stream on twitch as well there's a lot going on in fc mobile right now as they continue to add events for the summer, uh, the mix up over the summer, we have a, a bunch of stuff coming down the pipeline. So make sure you're following along. That's it. I'm finally he sleeps. Appreciate you guys hanging out. As long as you keep showing up, I'll keep making videos. While you're at it, make sure you check out my other channels as well. Raid Shadow Legends, Gearheads, which is my main channel on YouTube. And then for a few laughs, the Cringeworthy channel where we just make fun of other stuff.